It comes as no surprise with the recent addition of Great One Red Deer into Call of the Wild that there have been lots of questions regarding where and how to hunt a red deer. After over a week of grinding and approximately 1700 stag kills on Quattro Colinas, I feel as though I have a pretty good grasp on this map and the best way to hunt red deer on it. I've sat down and with the help of Kyla who has also been grinding red deer on Quattro to the tune of about a thousand stag kills as well, we've come up with a map of the best locations on the map to hunt and how consistent these locations tend to be. A few key factors in translating this map into your own gameplay successfully are understanding the key, which I'll explain in detail, as well as understanding how to set up maps with tents and tripods if you have those DLCs to be able to maximize your efficiency. I've made videos specifically on setting up Quattro Cleanness for Red Deer in the past, and those go over tent and tripod placement. Those videos will be linked in the description and in the cards in the top right, and you can check those out if you're interested in learning more about setting up maps. For today's video, we'll be focusing specifically on the where and when of Red Deer on this map. Firstly, Red Deer have multiple drink times on Quattro. I tend to hunt in the 5 to 9 window, as it's in daylight and gives you a full hour real time to hunt while the Red Deer are the easiest to find, as they're right by the water. However, Red Deer also drink from 17 to 2100, which gives that same 1 hour window to hunt, but half of that is after dark. There are also a few shorter zones during the night hours, but we won't focus on those. I personally have stuck to just hunting during the daylight, while Kyla has been switching back and forth. It is important to know that the same red deer that drink in the early window will not always be at the exact same zone in the later window, so you may find deer you are missing in daylight by switching it up to nighttime. My personal approach is operating under the assumption that I will eventually see those deer or potentially pick up the tracks to know if a potential big stag, rare, or even great one is around. However, I actually quite like the strategy of switching it up, as it is, all in all, a bit more thorough. Now, back to the map. Quickly, I want to make it clear that everyone's map can vary. Some locations that are good on my map might not be good on yours. I generally recommend checking every lake and body of water for red deer on your map, and making determinations on the best spots based on that but in my experience, these locations are fairly universal. The key itself is fairly straightforward, but what you do with that key is the important part here. The locations highlighted in green are my guarantees to see herds of red deer. These are the lakes that we'll be visiting today and will be the locations of all the red deer kills in this video as we go along. Every single time I go there, I expect to see tons of red deer and a lot of stacks throughout the different drink zones at that lake. I check these places every single hunt, and would recommend doing the same in your grinds. The areas highlighted in blue give pretty consistent stags. Often the stags are by themselves or maybe with a few hinds, but just about every time there'll be at least one stag somewhere along these lakes. I also check these spots during every hunt, but I'm quicker to move to the next lake after one harvest or potentially after thoroughly scanning the lake and seeing no red deer having spawned, knowing I'll be back again next time in case I've missed something. I would still say it's important to check every one of these locations. Now to where things get tricky. Inconsistent stag areas highlighted in yellow. These lakes maybe have a stag or two show up every three or four runs. I try to check them at the end of my hunts if I have time, and usually there isn't enough time to check each one. I may be able to check two of them on one hunt, three the next, and so on, to where eventually I cycle through all of them. I would say it's the consistent and inconsistent stag leaks that would differ the most from map to map, so if on your map one of these areas is spawning stags each run, make that area priority, and if one of the consistent leaks is lacking, I would kind of push it towards the end. What's important is to be efficient and take as many stags as you can throughout a hunt. Last is the easiest one, occasional stags. I highlighted this region of the map in red because I basically don't ever go there. Now, the thing is, there are some stags along here. We ran this area on stream and shot probably 5 or 6, and I'm sure I missed out on a few others. The issue is, the area is several kilometers long, and in my experience, never consistent with the specific location of the stag spawns. I tend to consider it not worth the time in each run to check, so I don't cover it. So, what do you do with it? Well, you can't fully ignore it. Without going into too much detail, your respawns will not always be in the same place, so you may shoot stags in one area and have them respawn somewhere else entirely. In theory, you could have a trophy red deer or even a great one respawn along the stretch of river 
and not even know it, and really not even having hunted it. The solution to this, as monotonous as it may be, is to check this area maybe once a week. The key is, do not shoot the stags as you're going along. As long as they're not diamonds or rares, I mean, you can shoot those obviously if you see them, but if you're shooting stags as you go along, you're opening up room for other ones to take over in that spot. Instead, just make sure there aren't any diamonds, rares, or a great one along that stretch, and move on in your grind knowing those stags are going to stay there. Eventually, you can all but stop worrying about the entire area, maybe after a few weeks of grinding, as you'll stop seeing any new stags pop up and can be pretty confident no more will come along. Now, I know there was a lot to digest in this short video, however, I can pretty much boil it down to one simple premise. Check every lake, determine which lakes have the most red deer, focus on shooting the stags at those lakes, and then go to every other red deer area you can afterwards. After that, just simply adjust. Sometimes good zones stop producing, and sometimes bad ones suddenly become consistent. The worst thing you can do in my opinion is to stay stuck in the same routine. Adjust to the red deer as best you can, whether that be with tent and tripod placement or simply with the route you travel, and most importantly, enjoy what is in my opinion one of the best grinds you can do in Call of the Wild. I mean, what other species gives you such impressive golds or incredible looking rares as you're working towards that ultimate goal? I'm not sure there's any at all. On that note, with what was actually our biggest red deer stag ever in this video at one of the main hotspots, we can see him here in the lodge with that 267.3 score, and the hope is that you guys can start to find more red deer like this, and ideally run into a great one along the way. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, I'll do my best to answer any that I can. As always, thank you guys for watching, best of luck on your red deer grinds, and I'll see you next time.